Okay, this is going to be my second follow-up video to learning the four-beat fountain, or what I call the four-by-four four fountain, which is by far my favorite version of doing the fountain, because it's so smooth, because it's so effortless, because it makes one big circling circle, and because it goes perfectly in the turning in the weaves, and you can go into two-beat weaves and all kinds of other cool stuff, and it's just the most awesome version of the fountain as far as I'm concerned, and a lot of people don't know it. So I've taught this a lot over the years. I think I've got it down to something that almost always, always works. So after watching this video, you have no excuses to not knowing the 4x4 four four fountain. Now you might know a fountain, and your fountain might look like this. Something like this. And that's fine, that's great. That's kind of going from a weave up to windmill, back into a forwards weave, turning at the bottom. That's also a good fountain. There's nothing wrong with that fountain. In this version of the fountain, notice that the poi at the top never go in front of my face. Right. I'll come up closer. So see, they just sail up and they're just behind me over the top. Behind me over the top. You can compare. I'll do it a few times facing away. Maybe try to do yours and see if you're doing the same thing. Yours is also okay if it's not this, but you should also learn this if you don't know this because it's awesome. So it comes up, it's only behind me, it's in front at the bottom. It's behind me at the top and in front at the bottom. Which is a nice feeling, because it's just leaning back into it feeling. It feels really graceful. I love it, it's awesome. I've loved it ever since I learned it. And fortunately, it's easy to learn. So if you think you don't know it yet, follow along and we'll learn it together. Uh, you've got your play. And I'm going to face away from you a lot, because then you can face me and we can kind of do it together. So we'll take it right from the beginning. So uh, we face this way and tilt to your left. So kind of just pivot your upper body and your hips to the left comfortably. And at first you can just spin the poi back same time. And you're simply going to do a shoulder reel and then pass in front of your toes. Shoulder reel, toes, shoulder reel, toes. Right? Behind your shoulders, and then past your toes. And notice how your hands almost, they almost cup your ears. Right? Past your ears. You're going to do that, and as you do it, you're going to give the left poi a little bit of a boost, so you go in the split time. Right? You can do it even as it's passing your butt. The left boosts, and you're in split time. And you're going to keep giving that left a boost a little sooner. Maybe at the top. And as you're going up in front. And then eventually start in split time. And you basically turn your back to the left poi and the right crosses behind. So it goes left behind, right behind, and then you're facing the other way. But you didn't have to cross the left. The left is already on this plane. So you turn your back to it and then it crosses. While the right poi, my orange poi, had to cross to get behind me. But it's the same as this. It's just this little split time and keep making it more split time. And that's simply a split time shoulder reel. And eventually it looks like, same as a windmill. It's basically, you can also take a windmill and drop it down to your shoulders. Now that I think about it. But I want you to start here. And that's where some people run into a bit of a wall. So you start here and you just go shoulder, shoulder, cross back by your toes, shoulder, shoulder, toes. So this is the first important place we've gotten to, which is from a split time backwards, you go left behind, right behind, forward, forward, then you restart. Left behind, boom, boom. And then you're going to add something. You're going to go left, right, and then instead of landing left here on the left side when you've turned, you're going to go boom, boom, and cross the left under the right. Watch it a few times. Boom, boom, cross the left, under the right. You can cross under and you can just get tangled, that's fine for now. Or you can cross the left, under the right, and you've got your arms crossed, that's also a great point to get to. Or you can cross the left, under, and you're in a weave. That's a super important place to get to. So your backward split time, you go Boom, boom, cross left, under, and you're in a forwards weave. Awesome. 
and then just turn back to here. Do it a few times. Boom, boom, cross under, and turn right back. Left, right, left goes under the right, and turn back. Left, right, left goes under the right, and turn back. You're doing great. Um, you might have to keep pause the video a few times as you go along. Next step, you're going to do exactly the same thing. But instead of starting with your arms at their sides, you're going to start with your arms crossed with the right under the left. And at first you can just let them dangle. Nothing changes. It's still the left goes to the left shoulder just like it did before. It still goes to here. You just happen to have your arms in this position. And you're going to go just like you did before. Left, right, left goes under, turn back. Right, arms underneath. Left, right, left goes under, turn. And then I want you to try looking for something. When you're in a forwards weave here, say the left is underneath, if you were to turn from a forwards weave to a backwards weave, look at the way the right goes over and then it crosses under the left. Right, just do it a few times. Go from a forward weave to a backward weave to a forward weave. When you go to the backward weave, you cross the right under. Forward weave, turn, you cross the right under. You're in a forwards weave, you turn, and the right crosses under the left. You probably do that. Hopefully you do, because that's what turning the weaves is. Right goes under, right. So you're doing a forwards weave. You can start here now from a forwards weave. Turn to the left, right goes under, and then you're ready to start the whole pattern. The right's under, the left is on top, and you go left, right, left under, turn, the right's underneath. Left, right, left goes under, turn, right's underneath, and left, right, left's under, turn. Left, right, left goes under, turn, right underneath. Left, right, left, turn, right underneath. Left, right, left under, turn, right underneath, and there's your pattern. If you got confused, so that's not quite working, you just need to practice uh, a few of the lead-ups. And we'll, let's run through it again now, review them. And then for sure, by tomorrow, you can do the whole pattern. You can also start it just from windmill. You're doing your windmill, clockwise windmill. Left goes front, behind, front, behind, front, behind, and under. Right? Back, front, behind, under, turn, and just get to the right being under the left. Right. Then the left goes left behind, right behind, left goes under, and turn, you're back to where you started. This is all you need at first. If you've got this, you've got the whole thing. It'll just take a day or two to kind of get into your muscle memory enough. Left behind, right behind, left under, just turn, and look, your right's underneath again. Left, right, left under, turn, your right's underneath again. Left, right, left under, turn. Left, right, left under, turn. Left, right, left under, turn. And you've got it. If it doesn't work today, it's just because a little muscle memory needs to develop. And trust me, come back tomorrow. I bet it works. If not, the day after that, for sure it will work. If it's still not working, send me a video of, uh, of what you're doing. But make sure you show me the steps because it might be that you're skipping something. So if you send a video, just send me all the lead-ups. You, you know, I, this, and then this, and then this. And then I'll know where something's going wrong. And I'll send you some feedback, and we'll get you through it. But if it's clear you're not doing the lead-ups, I'll just tell you to do the lead-ups. So there's your pattern. And I'm going to make another video following this one. And that's going to be about how to go from this pattern right into turning the weaves which looks like the same pattern, but it's not, and back to this pattern. And then I'll make more videos about how to go into crossers, um, and how to go into flowers, and all kinds of other stuff. We'll, we'll, one thing I like about this version of pattern is you can link a lot of moves in and out of it, and we'll explore that in some coming videos. So learn it, come back, and if you like, what I do, if you like these videos I make, uh, please do visit playplay.com slash participate because if you don't participate, this will stop being fun. Um, and I want it to be fun, and you want it to be fun for me and for you. So it's just stuff like linking to Playplay and you know reposting the videos and um, stuff like that.
um, which goes a long way. And uh, it makes me feel good when people are doing that. So visit playplay.com slash participate um, and uh, let me know that you love me and I'll keep making videos.